What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do a muffler delete on the 370Z daily drift car. I've owned the car for about a month, month and a half, and it is way too quiet for my liking. I know you can go ahead and buy some nice exhaust, but it is a drift car, and at the end of the day, it might get kind of bumped and stuff. So I really don't want to put a whole lot of money in a really nice exhaust, so I think I found the solution. <laughs> So what I've seen people do is go ahead under here in this muffler. This is what we're going to be chopping off today. You can see there's two pipes here that go into the muffler and then the two pipes come out right here and on this side. So pretty much what you do is you want to cut here, here, and then right here right after the flange. And that way all you have to do is get a pipe running here, curve it a little bit right here on this side. Or you can just cut it off after the bend, kind of make it a little bit more straight. That way you can maintain the stock uh, OEM tips and get rid of your muffler. I've looked up some videos, I like the way it sounds in these cars. Hopefully they're not too loud in person. So I'm gonna be going with one of these two options. This pre-bent 90 or this weird flexy stuff. I'm gonna start off with removing the muffler, that way we can get a good idea of kind of what would be the better solution to connect those two pipes. I do have a welder so I can go ahead and tack some stuff up if I need, uh, which will probably be necessary. Just drop the muffler, not too hard at all. It's those, uh, those two flanges there. And then I just went ahead and un uh, unbolted the, the hangers a lot easier but I'm thinking that this 90 right here might actually work so you can see that lines up there and then might have to trim it a little bit but I can get it right there the idea behind it is just keep everything in the stock location so I'm gonna get to cutting I'm gonna cut as little as I can at first and if I need to adjust some more I can make some more cuts it's looking pretty promising I like it Well, my saw just died, so it's got to sit on the battery charger for a little bit. I think I'm going to start it up just to kind of see what it sounds like. I'm kind of bored and I want to see. This should be kind of what it sounds like, except it's just pointed straight up. Definitely sounds pretty tame, but definitely better in stock and for a simple model that costs about 20 bucks. Definitely step in the right direction. So I just finished one side of the exhaust and it ended up coming out pretty nice. Don't look at the welds, my my, uh, my spools actually messed up in here. So it was getting all splattery on me. I'm just, it was an exhaust, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's sealed in my opinion, it's fine. But did some welds there, did some welds there. I've not cut off the little hanger arm yet. I don't know if I'm going to, to be honest with you. Like, like I said, it's kind of a more daily drift car and the exhaust, like the tip sits about where the stock is. It's a little bit recessed, but it's not too bad, but like, it doesn't, it moves around a little bit, but not a ton. I don't know. I'm gonna do the other side and see how that comes out. If I want to, I'll cut off the uh, the hanger arms and tie that all into that. But that'd just be a little bit, a little bit more work. I need to go get another piece of this. I didn't end up going with the flexi stuff just cause it seemed a little bit less rigid than this. I'm liking how it's coming out though so far. Alrighty, just wrapping it up here. It's getting dark out. Welded up both sides. I ended up not doing the little support. Um, it's a little wobbly, but it's not too bad. I think if it bothers me, uh, I think I'll I'll come back, take them back out, and weld on the supports. Um, you definitely want to hit these a little bit of paint so they don't rust. If you do, if you're doing this, that's what that side came out with. It's very simple. All you gotta do, chop it there, chop it there, get the 90, weld it, weld it, just like this. Once I had those two pieces cut off, I uh, bolted this back on, put the 90 in there and then held the tip right where I need it, uh, tack this and then tack this and then made sure it's right. Uh, the tips aren't 100% perfect. This one's pointed a touch down and this one's recessed a little bit. But no one can really tell unless, unless you really know. You're saving some weight. This thing weighs a pretty good amount. So I'm glad that's out of the car. And uh, I think it's time to stop delaying and do a little sound test. All right, you guys, time for the first start with the new muffin delete. Let's see how she sounds. <laughs> You like it? Oh yeah, it's nice. I mean, for literally 15 bucks, like. Oh, okay, okay. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna take it for a little spin, see what it sounds like in the car, and then later tonight, I think we have some uh, some street driving planned. <laughs> oh, guys, I just did my f first little mini pull. Uh, it sounds good. It's gonna be hard to film and drive at the same time. Let's see what she's got. It's nice. I like it. It's a good balance of streetable and not droney and cheap. It's good. It's good. And then this is with the windows up. Like, it's very subtle, but it's definitely worth it, guys. I'm a huge fan. Cruising, there's no drone. It's not super loud, but it's kind of what I needed. Everybody, that is gonna wrap up the 370Z muffler delete. Hope you enjoyed those flybys. I really like driving through those tunnels, it's a lot of fun. And this thing only cost $15 to do, and a, and a MIG welder, it only took me a couple hours. It was really quick and easy. So if you enjoyed it or it helped you out at all, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot more people find the video. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.